What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the PlayStation 1 emulator Duck Station on Android. The phone I will be using is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus paired with the GameSir G8 Galileo controller. Now since I already had this emulator set up on my phone and even after uninstalling it, it would not take me back through the original setup process. So to start this video off, I will be using my Samsung Galaxy Tab A, then switching back over to my phone. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open the Play Store and search for Duck Station. This is what the app will look like install once it's finished go ahead and hit play welcome to duck station next now tap on theme now this is up to you you can either choose light or dark i'm going to change it to dark gpu renderer if you have a older Android device with a weaker processor, then you want to choose OpenGL. But if you have a newer Android device, then you want to choose Vulkan for the best performance. Resolution scale. Now you can crank your graphics settings all the way up to 16 times. But if your device has a weaker processor, then you may want to start off at 5 times at 1080p and work your way back from there depending on your performance. My phone is pretty good, so I'm going to do 6 times at 1440p. Aspect ratio. Now I know a lot of people do not like to change the aspect ratio from 4 to 3, but I like to play my games in widescreen at 16 to 9. Some games will look a little stretched, but it's not that noticeable. Emulation screen orientation. I'm going to leave it on use device settings, but if you're going to be using this app in portrait or landscape, then go ahead and select one of those. Now let's scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and check widescreen hack since i chose a 16 to 9 aspect ratio widescreen hack will make my games look better in widescreen next now we have to import our bios and i am sorry but i cannot tell you where to get a bios but all you have to do is a quick google search and you will find one also if you already have a ps1 bios file on your phone then this emulator will detect it if not you want to go up to import bios and you have to locate that BIOS file on your device. I'm gonna to go to My Files, and I have it on my SD card, in a folder called PS1 BIOS, and there's my file. Your BIOS file should read scph1001.bin. To get this file type, once you have a BIOS, you must extract your BIOS to make it into this file. Most newer Android phones and tablets have built-in extractors, but if your device does not have a built-in extractor, then you can download the 7-Zipper app free on the Play Store. And this program will extract your BIOS file as well as your ROMs. Back over on DuckStation, let's go ahead and select that BIOS file. And done. Import it, okay. Now I'm gonna select the region of the BIOS I want to use, and I'm gonna do US slash Canada. And like I said earlier, this emulator will auto detect your BIOS, or you can select the BIOS, which is right here. Next, game directories. Now we're gonna add our ROMs to the emulator. And once again, I cannot tell you where to get your ROMs. They aren't that hard to find as well, but just know that once you have them, you will have to extract those as well. Let's come down here, click on the plus button. Now we need to locate wherever we have our PS1 ROMs on our device. So for me on this tablet, I'm gonna go up to the top left. I'm gonna click on these three lines next to the name of my tablet. And I'm gonna select SD card. And I have another folder I created on my SD card called PS1 Games. There are my PS1 ROMs. Now I'm going to hit Use This Folder. Allow DuckStation to access files in PS1 Games. Allow. Next. Setup complete. Finish. And there are my PS1 Games. Okay, I am back over on my phone. Now there are a few more things we need to set up. So let's go up to the top left, click on the three lines and go to app settings. 
and under interface, we're gonna turn on fast boot. This way we will skip the bio screen and the games will load directly in. Let's go over to graphics and let's go to texture filtering. And we're gonna change this to bilinear. Your textures will look a lot better. Now let's go back and back up to the top right. And this time we're going to controller settings and select port one. For your controller type, make sure this says Analog Controller DualShock. And next, tap Perform Automatic Mapping. And as you see, the emulator has detected that I am using the GameSir G8 controller. I'm just gonna tap right here. And just like that, my controller is mapped out. Now, if you want to change any of these buttons around that it automatically maps for you, you have all of your buttons here. And if you wanna change a button, just tap on the button and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to become that button. Now let's go over to touch screen. Now since I am using a controller, I want to hide my on-screen touch controls. So let's scroll down and where it says auto hide touch screen controller, we're going to go ahead and click that on. Now let's go back to our home screen and we can go ahead and load up a game. We'll do Crash Bandicoot 2. So if you need any additional help with things that I cannot discuss in this video, then head over to my Patreon, link in the description below, and check out all of the helpful videos I have there. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Peace.